Before we start this podcast, we would like to point out that the content of this podcast was created using artificial intelligence. Dear listeners, in this episode we will explore the fascinating history of Marcel Brewer's legendary Wassily chair. I'm pleased to have an expert on design history and furniture with us today. Thank you very much. I am honored to be here to talk about the Vasily chair and its profound importance to the design world. Marcel Brewer is a name closely associated with the Bauhaus and the modern design movement. Could you give us an overview of his background and help us understand what factors contributed to his designing the Wassily chair? Absolutely. Marcel Brewer was a Hungarian-American architect and designer who did much of his training at the Bauhaus in Germany. He was a student of Walter Gropius and later taught there. The Bauhaus was a stronghold of modern design, and it is this creative breeding ground that inspired Brewer to explore new materials and techniques. The pursuit of functionality and simplicity, coupled with aesthetic elegance, ultimately led to the creation of the Vasily chair. I see. I'm sure there's an interesting story behind how Brewer came up with the idea to design the Wassily chair. Could you please take us into this creative universe and explain how this groundbreaking chair came to be? The idea for the Vasily chair came about when Brewer admired the lightweight and strong properties of tubular steel frames on bicycles. He recognized the potential of this material for furniture design and began experimenting. The result was the Revolution Riva Silly Chair, designed in 1925. This chair, also known as Model B3, ingeniously combined tubular steel and leather, creating an entirely new furniture design that was both lightweight and durable. That's really fascinating. Well, it's no secret that the Wassily Chair owes its name to the famous painter Wassily Kandinsky. Could you tell us more about the connection between these two outstanding personalities and how the chair ultimately got its name? The story behind the name is actually very interesting. When Brewer designed the chair, Vasily Kundinsky was also working at the Bauhaus. Kundinsky showed great interest in Brew's chair, and so Brewer gave him one of the first copies. Years later, when the chair went into production, it was named the Vasily chair, to honor the connection and admiration between these two artists. It is important to note that the original name of the chair was Model B3, but the name Vasily Chair stuck over time and is the most common name today. The creation of this iconic chair was a significant achievement in the world of design and modern art. The relationship between Brewer and Kundinsky shows how creative exchange and mutual inspiration can lead to extraordinary results. That sounds like a meaningful connection. Well, the Wassily chair has undoubtedly had a huge impact on the design world. Could you dive deeper into the impact of this chair and how it changed the design landscape and inspired future generations of designers? The Vasily chair has indeed had a tremendous impact on the design world. By using tubular steel as the main material, Brewer opened the door to a whole new aesthetic that stood apart from traditional furniture. This groundbreaking approach paved the way for other designers such as Le Corbusier and Ludwig Mies van der Rohe to also create innovative tubular steel furniture. The philosophy behind the Vasily chair combining functionality, simplicity and elegance is a core element of the modern design movement and has inspired numerous designers to develop their own styles based on these principles. The chair remains a symbol of the Bauhaus bold vision and innovative spirit, and continues to shape the design world today. It's impressive how a single piece of furniture can influence so many aspects of the design landscape. Now that we understand the profound influence of the Wassily chair, could you tell us about its persistence? How has the chair managed to remain relevant and in demand over the years? The Vasily chair has stood the test of time because it is a timeless masterpiece. Its aesthetic and functional design appeals to people all over the world and remains modern and appealing to this day. One of the secrets of its longevity is the fact that it neither rallies on nor submits to fashion trends. Instead, it embodies a universal design philosophy based on beauty simplicity and practicality. 
the chair's manufacture is also remarkable. High-quality materials and meticulous craftsmanship have helped the Vasily chair remain coveted throughout the decades. It is not only a functional seat, but also a work of art that reflects the creative spirit of its creator and the era in which it was made. Although the Wassily chair is celebrated as a design icon, there are also critics of it. Some critics argue that it is not particularly comfortable or that its design is not suitable for all users. What is your opinion of these criticisms and how can they be placed in the context of the time? That's a very good question. It's important to remember that the Vasily chair was created during a time of experimentation and search for new materials and forms. Brewer undoubtedly set new aesthetic standards with the chair, but it is true that it may not be the most comfortable chair for every user. In a sense, it can be argued that the Vasily chair is more of a statement and a work of art than a purely functional seat. The chair should be considered in the context of its creation and groundbreaking design, but we must also acknowledge that users' needs and preferences vary and evolve over time. That's a good point. On a related note, there are concerns about the sustainability of tubular steel furniture, particularly in terms of raw material use and manufacturing. How can we incorporate this aspect into the evaluation of the Wassily chair and its heritage? The question of sustainability is a key issue in today's world, and it is important to put it in the context of design classics like the Vasily chair. It is true that the production of tubular steel furniture requires the consumption of raw materials and energy, which can be problematic from an environmental perspective. However, it is also important to remember that the Vasily chair is known for its durability and quality. In a way, this can help offset the environmental impact by requiring fewer resources to constantly replace furniture. However, it is important that designers and manufacturers continually explore more sustainable materials and production methods to reduce the environmental footprint. How can we use the history and influence of the Wassily chair to shape the future of furniture design, taking into account functionality and aesthetics as well as sustainability and comfort? The story of the Vasily chair offers us a valuable lesson in how innovation and creative thinking can drive the design world forward. To shape the future of furniture design, designers should always keep in mind the balance between beauty, functionality, sustainability and comfort. The Vasily chair shows us that it is possible to transcend traditional materials and forms and still create a lasting masterpiece. By applying these teachings while creating a holistic. While we acknowledge the seminal influence of the Wassily chair and its importance to modern design, it is also important to ask some critical questions. Are there aspects of the design or production that could be considered problematic or that have been criticized over time? That's an excellent question. Although the Vasily chair is celebrated for its design innovation and influence, there are also some aspects that should be critiqued. One of them is the chair's environmental impact. The use of tubular steel and leather can be problematic from an environmental perspective, as both materials are energy intensive to manufacture, and leather is an unsustainable resource. Another critical issue is the comfort of the chair. Although the Vasily chair is known for its aesthetics and lightness, opinions are divided about its comfort. Some people find that the chair's minimalist design and rigid structure are not ideal for extended periods of sitting. Those are interesting points. How have designers and manufacturers responded to these criticisms over the years? Have there been adjustments or improvements to the original design that address these concerns? Indeed, designers and manufacturers have tried to address some of these criticisms over the years. For example, Today there are versions of the Vasily chair that use more environmentally friendly materials such as recycled steel tubing and vegan leather. This shows that there is a growing desire to find more sustainable design solutions without compromising the aesthetic integrity of the original in terms of comfort. While there are no radical changes to the original design, some manufacturers have attempted to improve the comfort of the seat by using thicker leather or padding. Still, 
The Vasily chair remains first and foremost a statement piece and a design classic, and comfort may not be the top priority. It's instructive to see how the Wassily chair has been adapted over the years to respond to criticism and new demands. Given these developments and changes in the design world, what is the role of the Wassily chair today and what can we learn from its continued presence in the design landscape? The Vasily chair remains an influential piece in the design world and serves as a reminder that innovation and experimentation are vital to creating groundbreaking ideas. It also shows us that good design is timeless and can last for generations. In today's world, where sustainability and environmental awareness are increasingly important, the Vasily chair should also serve as an incentive. It's been a fascinating and insightful discussion about the Wassily chair, its history, impact on the design world, and the critical issues that have arisen over time. Thank you for your expertise and in-depth insights. It was a pleasure to participate in this discussion. I hope our listeners learned something new about this iconic piece of furniture and appreciate the importance of innovation, creativity, and sustainability in the design world. Before we wrap up this podcast, we would like to point out that the content of this podcast was created using artificial intelligence. Technology has revolutionized not only the design world, but also the way we share and create information. It's fascinating how artificial intelligence helps expand our horizons and helps us dive deeper into the world of design. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and look forward to seeing you again in the next episode, where we will explore more exciting topics around design and culture. Thanks to everyone who listened today.